I get it. It's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Please come for church. You prepare, you fix things, set up a camera, and that happens. Someone doesn't like me. If I come tomorrow, will you please be quiet? Oh my god, it's quieting down. They want me to come. Hello again. So, basically, this is just because I have the worst headache and that I've had kind of a bad day and I'm trying to cheer myself up. So, I want to talk about a book again. Yeah, you loved it so much last time. Who, who am I even talking to? I don't know. Okay. Almost <laughs> dropped it, sorry. Um, because I saw um, the film adaptation of this book. It's called Petals on the Wind and it's by Virginia Andrews or V.C. Andrews in some countries. And this is, I do you see that? I hope you see that because like, whoa, the shadows are making it even better. Right, you can see on the front page that this isn't going to be a happy book, right? And it, it kind of goes all the way. Ah, oh, few have plans on reading this or any other book in this series uh, slash watching the movie anytime soon. Don't watch this. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. First of all, the beginning. They committed a fatal mistake the very first scene. In the book, um, Chris and Carrie and uh, Kathy, they are on the bus and they've just escaped from the attic, right? They meet Henny, who in the film, apparently, is not mute. She takes them to Paul, Dr. Paul, and they move in with him and blah, 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 blah. No, no, the film opens up with, with Paul's death, which is like the last thing that happens. Uh, Henny doesn't die, which is also okay. I, I think, I get that you have to make changes when you are making a film, but I, they have to be relevant, really, because when you start deciding uh, who gets to live and who doesn't, I think you're taking too much liberty as a filmmaker. It's like when I read The Shining, I read The Chi- The Shining, The Shining, I read The Shining, and um, the film, watch the film, it was nothing like the book to begin with, uh, they changed pretty much everything, and then killed off a bunch of people in the end, a bunch, one, in the end, that, that don't die in the book, that's not, you don't do that, no. They had just picked out, like, the peaks of the book, Paul's death, and then um, Julian's suicide, I will come to that, um, and um, Carrie's death, and the multiple babies, and the uh, fire on Foxworth Hall, like Julian's suicide. I was very disappointed in this. Julian is a freaking bitch. Freaking hate him. Can't stand the bastard, right? Um, he, I, I spent the whole book hating his guts. Um, manipulative uh, bastard um, and then he's in a car accident and then he becomes paralyzed and he's he's a dancer and uh, he decides to take his own life in the hospital which didn't happen in the film he didn't kill himself in the film he died in the car accident I'm kind of looking like I pictured Olivia like when I was reading flowers in the attic. God sees everything. God will see whatever evil you do behind my back. And he will punish you for it. <laughs> I, I won't do that anymore. I'm just now realizing how this must sound to people who haven't seen or read the books. I imagine, I imagine anyone watching this who have no idea what I'm talking about just going like this. So I read them like the first time when I was 10 or 11. Um, Traumatised! Uh, they're locked in an attic and their mother tries to poison them and one of them dies 
and it's really freaking sad um, which then leads to his twin sister Carrie um, killing herself by taking the same poison I don't know are they good or do I just think that they're good because I liked them so much when I was a kid I mean I, I, I was literally traumatized because I uh, I didn't trust anyone after finishing flowers in the attic also I thought that they want to write write out when, when they find Corey's body which like the mother and grandmother said that they'd buried which they hadn't they put him in a room in the attic I'd hope that they'd write out write out that because that was like the most freaking freaky thing that I had ever read as a 10 year old and um, but no that was still in it but instead of being in a room in the attic he was in the grandmother's room this one the adaptation of this one I mean it's it was just rushed and, and I mean I get that you have to cut things out and change things and stuff um, but, like they didn't even mention the romantic relationship of Kathy and um, uh, the, the Paul could have been done better I could just lie here forever <laughs> since, since these books are kind of the, I wouldn't say that they're religious that they're not religious at all but like this particular series is very um, very influenced uh, because like the grandmother um, is very religious and keeps saying things like God sees everything that you do and um, that they are uh, the devil's barn uh, because you know their parents were related and uh, that they were evil from the moment of conception uh, right she's she, I'm telling you she's a bitch see the church it's it's the church um, so yeah kind of fitting that or not that wasn't the case he, he promised her that that wasn't the case that it, it wasn't a miscarriage and she says like Virginia Andrews said that she her books are based on the reality and that it's reality that's messed up and not her books so I think we'll end there nice little quote um, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up as it would make me very very happy um, and you can also subscribe to me and check out my other videos if you like which will make me happy as well um, and basically leave me any any thoughts you have on these books or if you're confused because you have no idea what I've been talking about then you can you feel free to say that as well <laughs> that was so lame okay but I will go now before I say something even more stupid than I already have um, so thank you thank you thank you thank you and I will see you soon bye <laughs>